show you how to use an autoclave today. So, um, one of the, we have one of the nicer ones, automatic ones, just push some buttons and you're good to go. But, main things you need to know is make sure your water level's up to the right level. Um, you're not running on empty or else it won't sterilize properly. You never want to overpack a autoclave or else they won't sterilize property. And then you don't want to have anything touching the sides or the top of the autoclave because it could burn the packaging. Um, and you don't want that. So I'm going to start by adding some water to our autoclave because ours is a little low. Always check with your autoclave to see what it needs. Ours goes off the of distilled water. So any packs that you use should always be laid on its side. You never want to lay them. Um, here. Always lay them on their side, make sure they're not touching anything. You never want to lay them like this or upside down because they can't have the steam go through them properly. So, and then pouches, you always want to lay with the paper up, that way all the steam can go through properly and they can dry properly. Um, you don't want to stack stuff on top of each other because yet again, steam won't rise and you won't be able to get stuff sterilized properly. So I'm going to make sure that all of our instruments are on the other side of each other. Make sure nothing's touching the sides, nothing like that. If I feel it's good, I'm going to go ahead and close our door. So our wonderful autoclave has pouches, packs, unwrapped for your flash autoclaving. I'm doing pouches, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit our pouch, and I'm going to hit start, and we're all good. <laughs> 